Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Ernie Miles back with some more Alawi gameplay. Today, we are versus Fiora. Bread pudding. Oh, bread pudding. Chat. <laughs> Let me know in the YouTube section down below if you like some delicious bread pudding. Okay. Boom. Fiora, uh, Fiora is kind of interesting. It's about landing your E or her W, so it's like a little mini game you have to play. And as we go through this video, I'll kind of walk you through how we do that. I'll also be careful of her early trades with her Q into your vital. You do not win level one ever. Doesn't matter if you start Q, W, E, ult. Doesn't matter, okay? You will lose. Just like gambling. You shouldn't gamble. You will lose. That's another thing. You should uh, stay noted. Yeah, so right now it's just kind of waiting until level 3. Alawi is uh, not a champion before level 3. Just uh, an FYI. If you don't know that about Alawi, she is not a champion pre-3. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, do we're doing uh, runes. Runes are Glacial Augment. Item will be Stridebreaker into probably Seric Sage. That's a little trick you can do. That's trick number one I'll show you. Is, um... So what they're doing, what they're watching for when they're on you, like that in melee range, is they're watching for you to to turn your body, okay? And as soon as you turn your body, they have to they have to use their uh, their uh, repost. So if you just right click and turn, you can bait their W. So that's step number one. I'll try to show you all the other few uh, little Wow, didn't W it or anything. Imagine miss, to be fair. I'm gonna Q Max, I'm just Q Maxing a lot lately. Nothing to do, it's just play style. Not not champion dependent or anything. If you like Q Max, go Q Max. If you like E Max, you can go E Max. Not really a big deal. Or body in him, but I feel like I'm gonna get baited into um I feel like I'm just gonna get baited here. A uh, common question is, do we need to get, like, Thornmail, Bramble Vest, or Executioners or something? No, you really don't. If we play this match up correctly, you you will just... Oh, I should have waited for more mana, I think. Play this match up correctly by utilizing the wall after you hit level 6 to block her from hitting her fourth vital. Her healing really shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. All we have to do now is hit Q and to flash uh, W. We get a kill because we have pickaxe so we have a lot of idea we saw karthus like kind of midish so i know we're okay wait what oh Kind of a uh, sus, I guess. She does have teleport, so I need to get the heck out of here. Karthus shouldn't be level 6 yet, so I shouldn't die to that. It's kind of spooky, but we got the kill. She's going to teleport there and just try to run me down. We're basically dancing with the devil there. With, like, all that we need is a QW. Um, or just a couple of Ws, I guess. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, I'm going Stridebreaker, like I said. The beauty of Stridebreaker Alawi is that, um... The way it works is we E, Stridebreaker, and then ult W, Q, W, and they don't move and kill them. It turns out, if people can't move when you ult, it's pretty good. Oh, Fiddle's about to destroy this Karthus as he go. Where did Karthus go? Is he ganking top? I'm resetting. Why would you play this? Why would you even go for this? Yeah, yeah, she blocked the E. So what Fiora did there, and I didn't realize she'd done it, because I thought she didn't try to do this, but it just kind of worked out. Oh, hold on. It's going to be an all-in here. I need, to I need the Q and to E. Like that. So that's another trick. One way you can... Players, when they see you queuing, they don't really see your... Um, they don't, like... They don't notice that you're eating because there's kind of an animation going on in front of you, right? So that's another one, is you can, if they're gonna queue into you, you can actually predict their their queue into you. 
Now, really good Fioras will still repost your E when they do that. They'll QW, like, because you can Q as you dash in and W. But, um, she, she messed up, and with that Q dash in, you're now right on top of Alawe, and you're just destroyed. So, the three ways we've talked about, like, how do we land E's on a Fiora. The, the first one was um, faking out her W when she's on top of you by turning your body. That's the first one. The second technique was the um, queuing and then E follow up. You can like Q kill the. Uh, you can Q kill. Oh no, I'm probably gonna die here. Not careful. I'm dead. Okay, we're not dead. All right, so this is just like a freaking. So this is like a uh, a walkthrough for Fiora. Pretty much showing you everything you need to beat a Fiora. Here, she didn't kill me because I used, like I said, I didn't need executioners. I don't need grievous wounds because I used the wall here to to prevent the fourth vital, the bottom vital, from being proc. So her ult healing isn't a problem. And she actually doesn't heal that much off the other three vitals. So yeah, so that's step number one. We'll wait for this, Kindle Gem. Um, oh yeah, how how do we land these? Uh, you can predict her Q dash with your E. That's another one. Yeah, so those are the three E's. Then we showed you the wall trick. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about Fiora. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe again if you like this little walkthrough. That's it for the walkthrough portion. The rest of this will just be mid to late game kind of strategy for, for allowing in general. Not really your specific. Hey, this will be our first like champion specific guide, I think. Not anything fancy, but it covered all the basics. Make sure to debut for the that, yep. I like how everyone else was more aware of the Crowdless ult than I was. Like, my teammates were, my chat was. There, I just uh, use my ult or my Q to kind of prevent her from getting up. That's a, that, So that's another way of how I'm trying to land my E by landing, like, throwing out Q, killing the minions in front of me. I think she's going to try to Q W me. That's worth. That's worth taking the turret shots because we get a lot of damage off, and we um, will regen health back from the spirit. So I'm fine to take like a one turret shot to land E, because we'll get like a tunnel climber two. That's all it takes to get all that healing back. She doesn't have uh, there. I didn't have to worry about it because I knew her W was on cooldown. Her repost. Kind of zoning a little bit. Her repost is up now. Oh, just barely some that one fast. I'll be done soon, man. Thank you. Oh, nope. Okay. Nice. Do a flash. That was bad. Nice. Really good flank by Karma there. Yeah, we're gonna just get out. Karth has a bot, but. Uh, Renekton was kind of moving. So Renekton here is moving up. I don't know if Fiora has teleport. She might. I'll just reset. I don't think it's worth it. If she has teleport, it's really bad for me. She actually might. So yeah, we're up 44 CS. We're up 44 kills to zero. Okay, just a really clean, solid gameplay. I'm gonna teleport top for, I think, momentum here. I'm gonna go Tabby's as well. Really good for Fior, good versus Renekton, good versus. Or it's okay versus. It's not really the. Ezreal isn't really the best ADC. To... Uh, not true. I think it helps with Q damage a lot. So yeah, that's what it looks like if you try to just E, just blank. It, it doesn't work as well. So that's like why you you want to use these little tricks, not just straight up like try to EF your from distance. It, it's just not, not good.
She does have R and we don't, but we're so far ahead that even though we don't have R, she doesn't really feel like she can do much about it. Oh, that's unlucky. Hey, thanks for the sub. Naz, Naz, thanks for the, oh crap. Watch him. Thanks for the tier two sub. That's a freaking baller sub, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for the support. You're having a good weekend. Nice, got first start, really good. I have Flash R here, so I'm like ready to fight. So that's another beautiful part of, uh, I don't know if Karthus has all, I don't think so, but another beautiful part. Oh, thank you. I, yeah, that was good. Uh, so, because I knew Fjord didn't have W and I flashed Stridebreaker, that flash hold is actually a viable strategy. Typically it's not, because you, they can just run away and it's not really that good. They just react to it. But Stridebreaker just slows everyone down, so you flash ult, Stridebreaker, W, Q, W. Really good. Ult, uh, Drake's up. Yeah, we run to Drake, actually. There's no point in going top here. Uh, there could be a fight for Drake, it could be really important. There's not really much I'm missing out on top. I mean, this is pushing into me anyways, so I can kind of go collect it after Drake. And I'm already halfway to Drake anyways, so. Just by being, like, here. When you're running to lane, this is a really good tip I learned from, uh... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to take that. Um, one thing I learned from... From playing support is that you... It's really useful to run to your lane in ways that allow you. Wanna go bot? I was gonna bot. I don't wanna go top for says. You wanna run in ways that give you options. If that makes sense. Like running straight to like bot lane doesn't give you any options, but if you run mid to bot, it's a little bit longer, but not by much. Yeah, I don't know why I'm Oh, please. Can I please match Fiora? I don't need other people entering Fiora. Stop going bot, please! We're just gonna kill her. That actually works, I think. She's gonna try to fight it or run. Falls and shit. Oh, really good either. Yes, yeah, so this whole thing we should talk. Okay. Fiora, Fiora went for her only wing on there, which is uh, she can go over walls and we can't. Which is pretty, that's a correct move, you know? Now you see, I can win games now. Oh, Pog, yo, nice. You like that. Music is spectacular. Well, yeah, so if you don't know, you may watch these videos recorded on, for YouTube. I do record them live on Twitch TV. Be sure to check it out, Twitch TV Dirty Mobs. Uh, where we have a refined choice of music. Some, some delicious Mozart. Can I let time this? I did time it. So if you know the timing of teleport, I use audio cues. You can land young people right as they uh, spawn in. That's a good way to do that. Very bigger there for the extra damage. He's not having fun. I'm just gonna push minions in. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, he's... oh no. Please! If I didn't Shredbreaker way too early, which I did on accident when he was like a little bit too far away from me, um, we would have that would have gone a lot clean. Fine, then. So I can't play against Fiora. That's alright. This video will help all allowing players with their Fiora game. It doesn't matter what elo you're in, by the way. All the things I've talked about in this video will help you from literally iron to challenger. 
these are the tricks you need to play and utilize to beat Fioras. It's it's not even tricks, it's just strategy. And it's repeatable and you can you can literally beat anyone with it. I promise. <laughs> Nautilus. Push bot here. I'll play the drake. Get your item, which is really good. Off King, that was explosive. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Nice, worth, 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 worth. worth. Yone doing Yone things, worth, worth, worth. Got turret, good. So there we see the value of. Oh, I can't believe that killed Karma. My goodness. Oh, I fucked up and didn't design you. Aw, that's okay, funny. Dude, Sarah Sage did so much there. It, it absorbed 1k damage there. That one fight. I'm doing a lot of uh, Black Cleaver second in this, or third in this build. I like it. It's more health. It's the movement speed. The armor shred's fine. It's increased damage output. I think it combos with uh, Stridebreaker really well, too, because people stay in your AoE longer, which means they get hit by more, which means they get psyched on Cleaver quicker, and it, it seems like a good combo. That's my be, I kinda ended there. Could have not done that before the team was there. Really good, really good use of uh, knockups and CCs and target selection. Really, you know, we'll take the win fight if we uh, win the team fight. Oh, he missed. If I don't end there, it's way better. Even if I die, I die in motion. There. Still easy one. Still easy one. My team fight's really good. And I can split push versus their whole team. And I got that Drake, so GG. Yeah, I thought people were closer. They just weren't. I mean, I was just too What did she actually win on me? Because I did that and I don't need it. So I just wasted it. Great jungle with Karthus. Karthus is a really bad jungler for me. Like, really bad. I'll teleport. But I do body if you're a. If I hate something, I destroy it. go here and then we just use wards so we want to do a sand in the back of the the pit and just e over e over e over and as they walk up to check that they have to run into my use it's almost like being a hook champion is what it, it plays like and it, it's just so strong it's not stronger than a hook based champion oh yeah she's not far dark's just gonna give it great i'd rather them give it we're all kind of low i think it's kind of spooky you know really good Boom. 
friend bot. Uh, actually, I should go top. I go top. I'm gonna go top because drag will be the next objective, and I can be up here in two minutes and be okay without resetting. But Yone can't because Yone does not teleport. Yeah, okay, this is a super champ. I'm lucky that Chenwer doesn't get picked much in the elos I play in. I have to ban Gwen, but it's okay. Why are they even running up here? It's so weird. That's just weird, man. Drake has Drag's neck, so like they should be jockeying for a position on Drake, like with the uh, warts and all that. Not running topside for no freaking reason. So there, we get a flash for free. Why? Because we have this item and not Gore Drinker. Gore Drinker is not as good as Red Breaker. There, I said it. I said it. Dude, Frickle Frackle, man. But it's fine. Because I keep throwing them up there forever. We get bot Drake, we get a pick bot, we get bot... Or we start working on the start, I don't think we get it. I have teleport when I'm up, like... They use a lot on me. But it's okay, you know? Calvis, have a good night, buddy. If you're, if you're still here, have a good night. Have a good Drake. And, and the most important thing about this fight is we have Flash Ult. Flash Ult, Stride Breaker. GG. Visage, I definitely think Sir Visage is one. I probably need an armor item. I just teleport her. Good Flash. Beautiful. Oh! Panicle slam. Well, I tried to saw it as long as I could for this, and I think I did fine. Timing wise. I was spamming this. I don't know if it went off, though. If it went off, I think we heart went even harder. But... Yeah. Even though we died or like died there, we set we we forced everyone to group and focus on us, and then my team, which has other synergies that can group, that kind of work around that, can and uh, you know act on it. And it takes a lot of pressure off of like fiddle, like the way we win team fights is a lot of like fiddle and Yone hitting really big ults into a yes or ult. Actually, gonna go. Sp Stopwatch. I think I think with the way these fights are playing, where they're very like grouped up and focused on me, I think I can pop that and uh, do work, and then just kind of saw, and then I, maybe I don't actually die for a team for a fight. Every every fight we've taken, we've won, but I keep dying because it's just kind of you know that's okay. I don't mind. I'm, it's not about kitty. It's about winning. I'm just sweating bot to create pressure. Oh, no. Yeah, that's uh that's stride breaker, by the way. Again, I am a uh, ten and one with this build. On this account, and I don't think it's gonna slow down anytime soon. It is absolutely shown, but I think this is probably the best build on the line. Maybe with the Stridebreaker getting nerfed next patch, maybe it'll be not as good, but right now it's amazing.
Too early. Fine. GG, we win. So yeah, hopefully that's a really good walkthrough on allowing how to beat Fiora. Right, be sure to like and subscribe. See y'all next time.